Hello, this is Julie Claire from Paint Big Live Big. Today, wanting to say a couple things about the power and beauty of group energy when you paint. You know, there's some times when we just can't do it on our own. Sometimes we can and there's no problem, we just do it, right? But if we're finding that we're not getting to our painting, if you're not getting to the, to the painting time, if you're finding that when you do, you're getting awfully hard on yourself pretty quickly, um, or feeling bad about what you're painting. God, these can be great reasons to be part of a really well facilitated group. Um, one of the things I notice uh, in a group uh, when it's the thing for you to do when it feels right is that there's like a momentum to the space when you, when you walk in. So even if you were feeling a little bit so-so or not sure or uh, insecure, you get into this group with a, if there's a common a kind of agreement to free yourself up, to be intuitive, to play. If these are kind of some of the, um, kind of the agreements, I guess, in the, in the group, wow, it can, it can be as if the river's already flowing and you're stepping in. So it can be like an ignition. So you don't have to kind of keep blowing on the candle to get a little small flame. It's like the candle just, whew, it's much bigger. It's ignited, there's this momentum. And it's so much easier, I think, than not to get in your own way and stumble around, you know, in your judgments and your kind of smaller thinking. So that's a big part of group energy. Another is I find that it's easier to try new things. So when you see other people trying things you wouldn't have thought of, ah, you want to try them too. So if somebody's doing charcoals with acrylics or painting with their hands or trying a palette knife for the first time, it's like, you know, I don't know, I might wanna try that sometime soon. So trying new things, wow. And sometimes even just having the idea for a new thing comes from watching someone else paint. It can be really fun. A third thing is belonging to this shared space can be really just an expansion and a solidifying of your care and your desire to paint intuitively or from the inside or in freedom. It can kind of solidify and it can expand your sense of what you're doing. When you see that there's other people and you're joining together regularly uh, in this uh, pursuit of uh, color and play and intuition and freeing yourself up, it's like the world becomes more full of that. Uh, it, it's, it's just a beautiful feeling. It's like being part of a tribe and I don't know, everything feels a little bit different, I think, when you're in a tribe than when you're on your own. It can be really beautiful. So there's a lot of reasons to be part of a group when you paint. Um, these are some of them. I'd love to hear what your experience is, what's possible in a group that isn't possible on your own. Um, let me know, I'd love to hear.